Objective to understand Rutherford's atomic model. Rutherford proposed his atomic model based on the observations made from the alpha ray scattering experiment. Alpha particles emitted by radioactive substances were used in this experiment. These alpha particles had mass and charge equal to that of a dipositive helium ion. Rutherford chose to use alpha particles in his experiment because they were relatively heavy, which meant that while in motion, they would reach a high momentum. Let's see how the alpha ray scattering experiment was conducted. Experimental setup. The experimental setup for this experiment included a lead block with a cavity containing a radioactive substance, in this case polonium, that acted as a source of alpha particles. A thin gold foil of thickness 0.005mm was placed in front of the lead block. This gold foil was surrounded by a circular screen with a slit coated with zinc sulphide to detect alpha particles. Zinc sulphide was chosen as it has the property to convert the kinetic energy of alpha particles that strike it into patches of light, also known as scintillations. Now let's witness the actual experiment. Alpha rays are allowed to pass through the slit and made to fall on the gold foil. Scintillations are observed on the zinc sulphide screen at different points. Let's understand why this happens. Observations and conclusions from the experiment were Most of the alpha particles passed through the gold foil without any deflection. This concluded that most of the atom is empty. It was also observed that some of the alpha particles were deflected by small angles. Deflection of positively charged alpha particles indicated that they were being repelled by a positively charged mass concentrated at the center of the atom. This positively charged mass was termed as nucleus. It was also observed that very few alpha particles, that is, 1 in 20,000, were deflected backwards through an angle of 180 degrees. This indicated that in comparison to the volume of the atom, the volume occupied by the nucleus is very small. Based on these observations and conclusions, Rutherford proposed his atomic model. Let's discuss the postulates of the model. The first postulate states that atoms are spherical in shape and mostly hollow. The second postulate states that the entire mass of the atom is concentrated at its center, which is hard, rigid and called the nucleus. Rutherford's model is also known as the nuclear model as it explained the presence of nucleus in an atom for the first time. The next postulate states that the size of the atom is 10 power 5 times more than that of the nucleus. The nucleus is positively charged. Electrons revolve around the nucleus, just as planets do around the Sun. Hence this model of the atom is also known as planetary or solar model of atom. The electrons that are equal in number to the net nuclear positive charge revolve around the nucleus with high speed. The final postulate states that the revolving electron is acted upon by an inward electrostatic force which is balanced by the outward centrifugal force. These two forces are equal and opposite. And hence, the atom is stable. Rutherford's atomic model, however, were not without drawbacks. Let's examine them. According to classical laws of physics, any charged particle revolving around another oppositely charged particle should lose energy continuously. Going by that law, the revolving electron has to lose its energy continuously, follow a spiral path in the process and eventually fall into the nucleus, causing the atom to completely collapse. But the fact to the contrary indicated that atoms are stable. 
The other point that proved the non-conformance of his model was that if the electron was to lose energy continuously, the atomic spectra should be a continuous band. But experimental studies proved that the atomic spectra consist of discrete lines. Let's summarize what we have learnt. Rutherford established his atomic model based on the results of alpha ray scattering experiment. According to him, atom is spherical, mostly hollow, with nucleus at the center. The next postulate states that the size of the atom is 10 power 5 times more than that of the nucleus. Electrons revolve around the nucleus, just like planets around the sun. His model is also called nuclear or solar or planetary model of atom. He could not explain the reason for the stability of atom and also the cause for atomic spectra.